Skyrim episode 47 of Let's Play First Look. Argonians can breathe underwater and are 50% resistant to diseases. Their hissed skin power allows them to regenerate health quickly for a short time. <clears throat> right. Now this isn't exactly where it finished last time, because last time... Oh, how come she's facing away? Last time, I was in my room in Winterhold here. But, um, I recorded the episode and then, instead of uh, exporting it, I hit the delete button. <laughs> and hit the dustbin and it disappeared. And I tried to retrieve it, undelete, and all the rest of it, and... It wasn't having it, so I'm going to do it again. So, But there was a save as I exited Winterhold, which is only a, a, about, I don't know, five minutes afterwards, so I can just redo it. Um, all that happened was I stashed some kit in the cupboard in my room because it, I've got too much stuff to carry around, um, and there seems to be nowhere to sell it around here. So it's going to be used as a treasure chest, although I'm a bit concerned that there's no door on the wall. And some cat-like guy called Jakar or something. Where have I heard that name before? Um, tried to get me to try out some of his spells. I suggested try them out himself. He wasn't very pleased with that. So there you go. Now I'm going off to follow the quest. Or a quest, something, anyway. Um, could I go to here for the main... Recover the old... Transcribe the lexicon, recover the Elder Scroll. Find Shadowdor's writings. There's also the Shrine of Azura here. Which is kind of on my way, so I'm kind of tempted to go and look. I did that in the previous parallel universe. This is a new parallel universe, I suppose. Um, in that previous parallel universe, I will tell you, Lydia got killed. I had thought, I had thought that Lydia was indestructible, but no, nope, she was killed. So I reloaded the game anyway. <laughs> Not having that. There are rumours that she may respawn after about 30 days, but um, I don't want to wait 30 days of gameplay. I mean, if I die, the game resurrects me, so I can resurrect Lydia, you know. Anyway, I have to try and be careful. Yeah, everything's half left. Um, right. So I'm going to do what I did in the, in the deleted episode, I suppose. Um... I mean, just for the sake of doing the stuff the same as I was doing. But hopefully, without having to resurrect too many times. I have to say, I'm playing the game pretty carelessly. Is that a tree? Hmm. Now, whereabouts am I on the map? Oh, so somewhere up here is the Shrine of, the shrine of Azura. Okay. Indeed, there it is. Okay, right. I can see it. It's a bit of a distraction from the main quest, I suppose, but... I'm in a distraction mood, as I was in the previous episode that I deleted. I'm not going to say that anymore. Um... Goats. Goats. Goats seem to guide. I don't know if they're meant to be a guide, but they seem to guide one on what is what is some sort of right route. It's strange that they do that. I, th I think it. I don't know if it's coincidence or what, but they do seem to. Is there a way up? I might have to go 
round. Still here, is it? Okay. something over there as well. Woo! Eek! Can we get up here? Oh. What the heck? Can't even see the bad guy. Who is it? Oh! You okay? Yeah. Right. Trying to get around to this <coughs> temple to see what it is, but I, d I don't know. Uh, right. Here we are. I'm definitely going to save. And as somebody has advised at the low main, I'm going to do a full on save. That'll be save number four. Okay, because <clears throat> this is a one way dungeon. You go in, you cannot get out. Uh, at least not from this ent entrance, because you have to jump in. Which is a bit of a shame, really. <clears throat> Are you ready? Okay. It's a major distraction. Let's go. If it all turns out horribly, I can go back to that save. So... There isn't something in here, is there? No. Only Lydia by the looks of it. Right. You know, I'm feeling really careless. Maybe I should be more cautious. I'm not stealing it, so they must be bad guys. It says steal if you're not supposed to steal it. Pickpocketing increased to 20, wow. Oh, and I've leveled up. Aha. Well, let's do the level up then, actually. Can't hurt, can it? Ah. I need more health, for sure. I mean, I need everything, but you know. And I have a perk to increase. Can't do that. I've, I've got these already, haven't I? Sort of. Shock spells do 50% more damage and frost, right? Hmm. I'm not le not high enough level. Restoration. That's uh, all a bit boring, really. Restoration. Um. Alteration. Manipulation of the physical world and its natural properties. This skill makes it easier to cast spells like water breathing, magical protection, and paralysis. Okay, I'll do that. Novice alteration. Pow. Make it a little bit easier for myself. A 
Although I'm sure I'll be using Destruction big time because I don't really understand the other spells. For a magic user I don't really do much other than blasting things, do I really? But It'll be interesting to play this as a as a fighter character like like Lydia, wherever she is. There she is, right. Ooh, there's a chest up there. Can I get up there somehow? I might have to jump down from here. Let's do it. Oop, sorry Lydia. Erk. Ow. Thank you. Search bandit, okay. My healing, there we go. Search chest. 61 gold, very nice. Hope this is not too far to fall. No, it's okay, good. Gold lockpick. But who killed them? She doesn't like jumping down. that? Aha! A trap! And some bad guys! Hmm. Dead already! Uh, careful Lydia! the other stuff. Ooh, it's technological. And what's that thing? something hatched out of it. Maybe that's what the Fal maybe the Falmer guys hatch out of them. Ew. And oh dear. Yeah. Oops. I'm sliding down. This is gonna be difficult. I Definitely quick save here. Where should I drop? To there? Oof. Okay. I can't go back up though, so it may be a bad move. Oh! Yikes! Let's just hope there is another way out. Well, there must be, because these guys have been here, right? And Lydia is thinking about it. Hmm. Hope she doesn't have to go all the way back to Whiterun. Ah! <laughs> hmm. uh, oh, there's another one of those things. Does it do anything if I step on it? I see, oh, there's some arrows there, okay. Yeah, okay, nice. Oh, there's a bad guy. Get 
my health back. Oh, he fell away before I could search him. Well, Lydia, I hope you'll follow me down in a minute. Yes. Well done. I wouldn't, in real life, I would never have jumped into that cave. <laughs> Let's face it. Oh. any point oh I was gonna say is there any point in searching the skeevers and then I get 160 value garnet ring which is probably about 40 when I sell it but still oh there's the other guy he get there? Maybe he jumped down from another level as well. Just wait for my body to heal itself. It's um... These injuries would take like months to heal in real life. <laughs> but now of Super Skyrim Magicka everywhere, I suppose. Maybe there's something magical in the way we heal in, in Skyrim. Pretty much healed. Anything in here? Nope. What's that? I'm thinking you might find that in an iron smelter where the, the, the iron rolls down, the molten iron would roll down it or something, but it's probably not anything like that. But this place is making me think technology, so I'm thinking it's the, the Dwemer or whatever they are, the Dwarven folk. But first, there's a bunch of flipping farmers infesting this place by the looks of it. See what's up there? No, okay. Ooh. Gold, lockpick, potion of mine healing, just what I need, probably. guy up there. I don't suppose I can blast him straight away, can I? He's woken up. Skeevers! Get rid of them quickly. Good. Half of ice spikes. 
31 points of frost damage to health and stamina. Do you want that? Still here. How can I serve you, my thane? I can give her that. Oh, ice spikes. 31 points of frost damage to health and stamina. 10 points of damage per second to health and stamina. I'll give her that. And now she's out. I can give her some arrows as well. Yep. Well, these do the most damage, so she might as well have them. She uses them a lot more than I do. I mean, come on. Yep. Forsworn arrow, seven. Iron arrow. Go on. They're weightless anyway. Right, and I'll keep a few. Just in case. Let's get going then. What is this thing? Is that a robot? A weapon? Blimey. Can't activate it by the looks of it. Probably just as well, actually. Some other gadget thingy. They liked their metalwork, didn't they? Okay, quick save. rack that's fallen down or something, isn't it? A magazine rack or something. So the shadows from that, it's brilliant. to alchemy and whatnot. Oh, I better heal up first before going any further. Are you okay? Yep, good. I could cast regeneration spell, but by the time I've switched it's hardly worth it. Patiently. What do the carvings mean, if anything? 
Why are there empty pots lying around? What's this thing? Another light? Nice. Let's search these bodies, shall we? Because, you know, treasure hunting is all a good part of the, uh, the fun, eh? I've oh. got your back. No worries, Lydia. Let's just search this guy. Ice spikes. She's using the ice spikes. Look at that. Whoa. Very nice. She's good for knowing what weapons to use. Uh, I, I kind of observe what she uses, so I have a vague idea, maybe. Oh, I picked up his leg accidentally, right. Okay. So they sort of drop out of these things and just lurk, do they? See anything in there? Nothing there. Okay. dodgy eggs from those monsters. But I, I, my eco-sensibilities won't let me burn them, but I really should. <laughs> Mind you, it might hatch them, don't it? I can try some. There's a few here. Let's just see what it does. If anything. Nothing, essentially. Okay. Maybe I could just eat them for breakfast or something. Ready? Let's get going then. Since he's doing me damage. Heal up a bit. If I can. Potion, potion, potion. Health regenerates faster. Magic regenerates faster. Mm, it's fast already. I need some actual health. Oh, I think I need some stamina too. Yeah, okay.
Good stuff. Steel arrows. Um, take them. Gold. Staff of ice spikes again. Yep. Farmer arrows. Okay. I take it I can't give Lydia the staff of ice spikes, can I? She's like fully loaded, I think. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. No worries. No, I can't give her another one. But this one is nearly fully charged, so if she stops using it, I will figure that uh, she needs it charging up at least. Let's get going then. That's indeed. Um, just want to check what is here. Oh, there's another chest. Ebony ore. Ebony grew on trees. Arrows, anyway. Gold. Potion. Potion. Those ice spikes are quite something, aren't they? Look at that. Whoa. But there was a guy down there which I didn't search, or who I didn't search. In here? I don't know, but there's nothing in it of note. In here, I can't remember. It's only been a few seconds. No, I haven't. Good stuff. Excuse me, Lydia. Yep. There's stuff everywhere here, isn't there? There's a ramp there, okay. Oh, there's some steps here. Nothing much here, I think. save time. This place is big! Another one! Let's get this chitin monster because it will ask me poison. Alright. They carried on burning I guess after I struck him. That was nice. Staff of lightning bolts. 31 points of shock damage to health and half that to magicka. Blimey, I'm loaded down with different staffs, which I could indeed use. Chit in, presumably, yeah. 
Are you injured? Are you alright? You're okay. Right, good. Oh, a chest. Amethyst, gold, minor healing, minor stamina. Fantastic. Burn. She managed to hit him with an ice spike without hitting me, which is better than I usually do, because I usually hit her too. Because she runs right in the way. Let's wait for the healing to finish. This place is big. Power station or something? Is it pumping oil? What's going on? There's a guy down there. Only one guy. Oh, and some skeever. Okay. And spider. Let's get them. Farmer Gloom Lurker. No garn is on that one, okay. Okay, okay. I always like to look around a bit. You might pick up something extra. Some clue or something. Orcish Mace of Arcing. <clears throat> 12 points of shock damage, half as much magic damage. It's pretty good. Oak Flesh. I should be using some of these spells. I mean, I have so many of them. I'll just stand there and blast. Maybe <clears throat> next time I can prepare myself a bit with some of these things. Oh, there is something here, is there? A lever, yeah, brilliant. I'm going to quick save Lydia, because there's a lever to pull. And somehow this is something to do with one of my quests, the main quest even, possibly. Have I found it by chance? Am I going to go blind now? Uh, pull the lever and something that's going to crash down onto here. Open abandoned cave.
What? What the heck? Oh. Huh? Okay. How strange. Alright. Oh, maybe it just dropped us down. Whoosh, into the pit. Just have a look. Maybe that's what happened. Like it's an elevator. Yeah, maybe. Gear wheels, yeah. Right. Should have figured that out. Well, I had some vague idea, didn't I? I thought that was a person for a minute there. Maybe this is just nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's in the outside world somewhere. Indeed. We're out, Lydia, we're out. Well, I am. Yes, you're out as well. And I still haven't got to the Temple of Azura be fair. And it's now flipping, getting on for night time, isn't it? Let's go and find this flipping temple. Can I get up there? Uh, here's the entrance again. Okay. I don't know what I want to go there for. Oh, there we go. To fight some wolves, probably. Yeah, ice spike wallop. Where's the other one? Has he slid away? Am I standing on him? Darn if I know. Not likely to be carrying much treasure here anyway. Maybe he's been atomized. Roasted. Don't have to do my weather breath thing again, do I? No. But it might be a good time to quick save again. Oops. Now pressing Q gives me like a choice. Can I just do it instantly? That's pretty good. Okay, so I could heal myself up rapidly just by hitting Q. Right, there we go, click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Ready? Okay. Places. Oh, there's somebody here. Hello. Maybe there's an expedition up here or something. Oh. Azura has seen your coming, traveller. <coughs> 
It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Oh dear. See my coming? What do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. Oh dear. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Mm, what does Azura need? You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. I'd like to know more about Azura. She is the goddess of dawn and dusk. Azura sees into the twilight of the future and guides her followers through it. Where did this shrine come from? My people, the Dunmer, built it. We fled from Morrowind after Vardenfell erupted almost 200 years ago. Those of us who were faithful to Azura were given a vision that led us away from the island before the worst came. This shrine is our thanks to her that none will forget that she watches over us all. Are you alone yes. here? There were others at first, but Azura's visions tested everyone's faith. One by one, they left, afraid to know their own future. But I refuse to abandon the shrine. The visions are a gift. Azura warns me of tragedy, war, death. Before it happens, I won't leave her guidance. This has all been foreseen, and we must play our parts. Hmm. Okay, well. Yet another quest. Now let's go. Sort it out sometime. Where's the steps? How do I get off this thing without dying? Um, oh, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah. So, determined to come up here to find out what the heck's going on, and lo and behold, more questing. Now, where's my main quest? There it is. That way. In this flipping blizzard, hey. Where did that other fox go anyway? Hmm. Oh, there. Slid all the way down here. Wolf, sorry. Yeah. Map. There. And then what's, what's the big mountain it's pointing at her? Is that the shadow of a symbol there? Or a coincidence. That's the sightless pit, probably, because it's nearby. Okay. But I'm heading towards either of these two, basically.
Now only one of those things is showing up on the map. Let's have a look. Map. Let's head over there and I can choose when I get closer, right? More wolves. Which no doubt will just attack. Instant death with her ice spikes. She likes those. Ah. Seem to be heading towards that thing, whatever it is. Entirely. Ooh. Problem. Problem, problem, problem. I better go round if we can. And Lydia will catch up in a bit, I suppose. Yep. So we're closer to this one by the looks of it. Loading some stuff. Computer started to lag. Half tanned discovered. Quick save. Oop, wrong button. So we have a tower here, but we have more stuff here. And another tower. that has fallen down and is held down with rocks maybe? Is this person burned to a crisp or something? More towers.
and they're just iced, iced up. Top of a tower, is it, maybe? Yes. But this is not apparently the way in. Probably the first tower is the way in. means that this is a good place to stop because the hour is up. So I'll see you in part 48. Bye for now.